and welcome to what are you saying hashtag ways where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all i am osayame sally and today somebody decided to <laughs> to pair with me um is it color code with me ak how you doing like seriously like i was wondering what are the i know who who wears olive it's not a popular color. If it was black or red or something, you'd say, okay, that's like a lot of people have it in their closet. The love, like, <laughs> love is too much. <laughs> but how are you doing, AK? Bye. Thank Bye. God for Bye. everything that happened. AK, oh my goodness. I still can't get over that that matter. Well, what happened? But were you able to report the case to the police? Well, I, I, did. I did. Okay. I did report the case to the police. But um, mostly I'm just thankful to God that whatever it was you know i've been spared i'm Aye. alive and i'm well no harm to me or my family and i'll give you just like that because i just had okay. that's what happened yeah, yeah she didn't reach, she, didn't, she doesn't reach out that's her problem Sanzi, how are you doing? It's it, it it gets overwhelming. Like you open you people talk too much. You open oh it up and like God. seventy something. I'm like, oh okay, hold on, I'll get back to it. And then by the time you're coming back, another fifty something. I'm like, come on, you guys. Get in the juice. Get in the juice. Get in the juice. So you won't be coming here to ask us so. Okay, well my bad. Right, I'll do better. <laughs> yeah, but we thank God for what um, you're looking amazing. <laughs> How's your exams? Oh fine, fine. We've you missed know, you two weeks. I know you have. How, how did you even leave without? <laughs> We I, can't I knew you couldn't wait till I'm we, back. We can't, we, can't, we can't live without you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, so today is an interesting, um, it's the beginning, it's the start of, it's a good start this week. You didn't you ask know. how Sandy was. No, Sandy, how yeah. are you doing, really? I, sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. fine. I'm actually, like, lovely, way better than I was doing last week. In as much as traffic tried me again today, Aww. it's always, like, it's a torture coming to work and going mm. through I left by past three I got I, I spent three hours on the road and then Google Map began Google Map is not my friend I think Are Google Map is biffing me <laughs> <laughs> honestly <laughs> Like, I don't know. The, oh, is it my sense of navigation? I don't understand. Are you sure you're reading it right? <laughs> Are you sure you're reading it right? <laughs> Still not got my phone, my hand on that. No TV. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm way well, better than last week. <laughs> well, it's good. It's good. I, I'm, I'm also doing well. I thank God. I got an A in my project. Oh! Ah! What I saw, I saw. 100 over 100. I said, huh, wait a minute. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow, that's lovely. lovely. Yeah. I'm going to shine it to touch you. Yay. <laughs> All right, so as we said earlier, today is a very, very interesting conversation we have um, to discuss. And here's what we found as today's quote. Now, don't allow someone who talks to you in a snobby, condescending, rude manner get to you or intimidate you. This is a mm. sign of an insecure person trying to appear superior to you. Arrogance and condescending, uh, condescension is always a sign of weakness. Mm. I agree. And we're we talking see, superiority. Yeah, we, we see we see a lot of that playing The culture out. of superiority in Nigeria. Yep. Like I feel because I have more money than you, I'm more superior than you. Or I drive a bigger car. So in traffic, you with a smaller car move so I can get in front of you. Things like that. Yeah, it's as, as fickle as things like that. <laughs> and, you know, just the mere fact that you are in a position so sometimes not about the money. It's about also the position that you occupy in the society. Mm. And you feel because you occupy that position, then you should not report to anybody, even the people that you're serving. You're not answerable to no, people. So, so it's a very, I'm actually looking forward to diving into, into the topic. And, and as for the quote, really, I think sometimes people just impose their insecurities on you mm -hmm. because right. they do not know how to interpret either your actions or what it is that you're saying. Mm -hmm. And so they try to cover that up by being rude mm -hmm. and trying to mm -hmm. behave Absolutely. funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leaders, leadership in Nigeria, you're not allowed to talk and ask questions. So it's the same way you have a child, your child cannot ask questions. So because I'm the parent, you can't ask questions and all of that. This superiority plays out almost in every facet of our life, it's every true. aspect of our life. So it's yeah. something that if we start to dig deep and look into it, we will definitely begin to find solutions to some of our problems in Nigeria. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's superiority important. complex is a behavior that suggests a person believes they are somehow superior to others. People with this complex often have exaggerated opinions of themselves. However, this complex is really a defense mechanism for feelings of inadequacies that we all struggle with. Now, in Nigeria, most of our leaders or in 
influential people show some level of superiority over others. This we saw in the recent event that transpired between a former minister and a journalist. Now, Peter Opatewa is here to discuss this, but first, let's take a break for what's in the news.